All right, folks, we're here, San Jose Super Toy Show. This event is world famous, and they got a lot of goodies in here. Always, they always have good stuff. Uh, yeah, we're coming in. Um, yeah, I woke up a little late, so I did. I apologize to those that I said I was going to be an early bird today. I woke up a little late, long night, but I did make it for the 11 o'clock opener. Uh, but I'm going to head inside, and it looks like they have a lot of stuff here. So let's go inside and check it out. All right, folks, so this is what we're heading into. You can see this. To give you a quick view, and it just keeps going. So, yeah, we're heading into that. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. And then right when you walk in the front door here, yeah, you're greeted with some goodies. They have a lot of stuff here. This is just walking in. Oh, this thing is just nice. I'm digging this. Oh, Vyra, and she's going to be here at Sinister Creature Con, too. That's a good one. It's a Marilyn Monroe. There's a lot of stuff, folks. Just, just walking in. And then these guys always bring it. So, we got these that are making a comeback. A lot of these. All these nostalgia is just coming back. So, and you can see, like, comic-wise as to what he has. He just has a lot of goodies. All right, I'll roll around here to the side. Check this out, look at this. Oh, this is cool. Let's see all that. Look at that, he even has that G.I. Joe right there. Some Hot Wheels. And Joe's. Okay, and then right here, we're gonna head right here. Check this out. Oh, yeah, they got some goodies. And they have Rangers here. So, look at this. Old Nintendo's. Sega Genesis. Look at it. They got some good Rangers here. Oh, look at this. Wow. All right, so here is Toy Shop right here. Uh, they got a lot of Legos. So, yeah, you're gonna be opened up to Legos over here for sure. Look at this. Whole lot of Legos going on. Oh, yeah, five for twenty. Oh, five. That's right. Yeah, they got some things. So they brought it for sure. These Legos. Gotta make it count. Legos, good Legos. Yeah, they brought it. It's a good Lego assortment. Get some Grogu going on. White Vader. That is the concept Vader, I believe. Okay. Oh, that Spider Man is just insane. Real good. Pardon me, sir. Really cool. Yes. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks just amazing. That's cool. All right, so check out the size of that beauty. Yeah. It's a big one. So they got, it's rare to folks, it's rare to see model kits anymore. So I figured I would throw in some model kits and they got a lot of it here. Um, you just don't find it. So if you're looking for model kits, this is, they had these last time too, like a lot of model kits here at this event, older ones. So you might want to come down and check one out. Um, yeah, this is what the San Jose Super Toy Show is all about, is this. Rare stuff that you just don't see really anymore. The model kids. Alright. I'm just going, I just 
came in too and I'm like wow like just just in awe you see some of the rarest stuff and just right off the top you got a big old spider <laughs> yeah, alright so we got some good stuff here check out that Dracula we check a funny okay and then they got the big old guy right there with some of these Okay. Alright, so these are really good for cosplay right here. You see some swords. And then, this vendor, she always tends to bring some really unique things. So, a she cult. <laughs> Look at that. Alright, so, you got these. And then, you got some Joes. So I know some of you love G.I. Joe, so, yeah. Alright, and then they also, she also has cards and everything. But let's walk through here and check this out over here. So you can see some good comics. I heard an R2, a life-size R2. So it looks like this might be all the comic side. So yeah, it is. Look at all these comic books. Yeah, somebody has a, a life-size R2 around here and I can hear it. So, try not to get no faces. So, look, this is all just comics. Like this whole row. They put them all together, which is cool. So this is the back side here. Look, just comics. Some rarities. Big old little Charizard right there. Okay. And I hear him coming. And there he is. There's R2D2. <laughs> Welcome to most Jordan. Awesome, thank you. Oh man, they came out and found me. I guess when I walked in, they must have told him. So R2 came chasing me down. Really cool. All right, so let's walk in here. Oh wow, got some Pennywise. I'm gonna pajama Jack. That's <laughs> funny. Yeah, you see some stuff that you normally just don't see. I'll give you some of this for all my Funko people out there. They got Funko here. Trust me, you're gonna find whatever you're whatever you're after. You're gonna find at this event. I may not be able to film everything, but you're gonna find a little something. Okay, okay so we got the Niners versus the Cowboys tomorrow, and there's a. a front right there for looking for some 49er stuff, some old starting lineups. Look at this. You don't see this no more. And I know that they're making a comeback. I know that um, I think Hasbro's doing them, right? Alright. And then we'll go here. Look at this. Just really unique things. Look at this guy. Here he is right here. Look at that. All right on. Cool. All right. Look at that. Cool. Thank you so much. <laughs> Pulling the hog spear. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Things here. This. Oh, these are freaking cool. I've seen these before. Uh, they're Mexican bootlegs, and they are pretty big in person. And then I know these guys are making a comeback, and they got the whole group. So you can see some rarity stuff right there. All right, so these guys are always loaded with stuff, and their their booth is super loaded right now. Uh, they got a lot of rare stuff, so 
We're gonna head inside. I'm gonna see if I can make my way in here. There's a lot of people up in here. There's some good X Men. Let me see if I can make my way up in there. All right. You're supposed to sell stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. He just has so much stuff. Old wrestling magazines. Um, yeah, they have a lot of stuff. And we got some Masters of the Universe. Castle Grey Skull. This. And then you get treated. There's some Transformers. Okay, nothing. No faces. Look at this down there. Just tons of Transformers. Yeah, he is just loaded with stuff. He's really good price too, so look at this. Look at these transformers up there. Yeah, wow. It is just loaded here with stuff. Just loaded, just a lot of transformers going on here at this one. Look at that. Rare items, folks. Just super rare. Okay, I'm going to go through here. Let me spin around here. Yeah, this guy has a lot of stuff. He even has Disney. Let me make my way back over there. Okay. So last time I couldn't get into this one because it was so packed with people. Some more stuff. Here we go. You might be looking for, and then he also has stuff like that. So they have a lot of stuff here. So you can see this. Let's see. I just barely walking in and I'm treated with just all of this. They got some rare items. Look at this. Dude, is that the upside down variant? Yeah, it is. I'll take your speeder. Alright. All right. Upside down variant, right? You can see all this. Yeah, they got some things and he has the new one. So we found some Princess of Power and next to Vampirilla. Right there. Wow, look at this. This thing looks brand new. Oh my god, that Macho Man is really cool. Oh, okay. yeah. this is cool with it. There you go. Yeah. Ultimate Warrior. Look at this guy. He's cool. Wow. wow. Cool. The star case. Oh, you got it loaded with those troopers too. Right on. That is so cool. That case is getting to be real rare. Starting to, yeah. You just can't find them anymore. Usually they're missing that little latch right there that goes to them, and that one's in pretty decent shape. Yeah, that's a, that's why I was like, the condition, the figures are fine. Man, you got some good stuff. Thank you very much. Yeah, they got a legend over there. I'm thinking about my money. Yeah. I said I get some meat. Look at that. Everything from the old glasses. A lot of starting lineups here at this particular one. You got some Muppets. You got some old Star Wars. Look at this thing. Yeah, really rare stuff. 
like I said, I'm not gonna be able to film everything. I remember seeing those when I was a kid. Wow. Okay, so let me walk over here. Look at this, what these people have. They just have a whole arsenal of stuff. Oh, Dracula. Ouch. Oh boy, I might have to leave with that Dracula. We have the Jar Jar Binks set. Look at that. Wow, who would have thought for that set, right? But it's like sitting right here. I mean, all these are making a comeback from Dawn. Universal Monsters. Yeah, these guys run it. Galaxy Cop, these are some old bootlegs of Star Wars. That is amazing. I love the BSG. And then he also has all that back there. And then we got this big old alien right here, but it looks like something's up with his legs. So, not unless that they just have him for people don't go messing with it. Wow, look at this. You don't yeah. never see this. The buildings get knocked down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. <laughs> it's one of those things that. I, I've set it up at shows, mm -hmm. and it attracts more people's eyes, but it's such a production to do. It's like, yeah, 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 right. But it is very cool. It's it got the, very cool. All right, so here's what it's all about right here. And this is who they are. You can just take one with you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And... You have scotch there? We need to keep the set out. I can't put things together. So you got these huh? some older items. I always think of you, uh, remember Ed Polish used to call you Blue? Yeah. Yeah. He call you blue. yeah. He's the only guy I've ever heard. Well, well I hate okay. it a lot. It just spends on the person. These are all Where is he from? Ed? Not reproduction. Ed Polish? So these are yeah, back east? No, no, yeah, look at he this. used to be in San Francisco. Slave One's still on pa on card right there. A die cast. Well, if we did it, when we knew him, I'm ready to grow up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what my sense is. Yeah, and then so what I love is this area right here. Yeah, East Coast people exactly. probably look really good. Oh, oh look at that Beverly yeah, Lugosi like that right there. there. Looks real good. Yeah. 400 though. Oh my I god. Like, I don't know why. Honey? Yeah. Would you like to know some more okay. information about this figure? And then, this is the lady last time that had Blackula, and Blackula is right there. And that figure is so rare that Blackula one is right up in there. Let me see if I can get up in there. You never see that Blackula. That is so cool. Now look at the stuff that they have. Okay. And then, right next door, it's just nostalgia heaven, huh? Just a little bit. Stuff. I mean, they got a lot of stands too. So let me walk through here. Okay. Really cool. So. You just don't see this every day, folks. Look at those pass dispensers back there. I'm sure somebody's looking for those. Old Disney one. Yes, look at this. Yeah, he just... <laughs> that's cool. You just don't see that. Look for these. Oh, you got some part of Star Wars. Look at this. Well... And he also has... Kiss. Look at this. Just a lot of things. This group has. And then I'll keep going. Oh, look at these. I mean, nobody drinking the beer is gone back. These are cool. Yeah, just keep it the way it is. That's awesome. Yeah, that's that's that. They're actually really, uh, like, I looked them up, a full bottle. All right, folks, now, if you're into Elvis, I have never seen a stand with so much Elvis. Thank you. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> you're so welcome, sir. So welcome. There is a lot of Elvis. You want his glasses, they got them. 
if you want his some of his pin sets and everything else. Got his ring. He got his ring. Look at that. Wow. Got CDs, DVDs over there. Which are the wow, you have some unique things. Okay, look at what he has back there. Let's see all that. Elvis jacket. <laughs> oh. All right. I can't restrain myself because there's a lot of Elvis here. <laughs> Look at this. Elvis. Elvis cup. Elvis beanie baby. Elvis CDs, DVDs, whatever you want. He has them. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, there's a lot of Elvis. And then we got Batman. Yeah, there you go, some Batman. What was this, Batman Forever? I remember seeing those all the time. I think I still have that one. The Poison Ivy, and I think I have that one, too. Okay. So yeah, you got some goodies. And then Vampirilla right there. All right, so we're gonna go here. You can see some things right here. And then when you shoot all the way over here, there's just stuff everywhere. You're putting more Transformers out. Look at all this. And then he has, for all my horror movie people out there, that. That's a gem right there. That is up there with that Bigfoot that we saw a little earlier. Um, yeah, that's, that's a grail piece for any Friday the 13th collector. Oh boy, Predator, Live, big old Predators, these are like 18 inch, 1 4 scale. He has the full diorama he'll sell you with all the figures. And this one has, you can still see over there. Alright folks, so we're here. I had to film this, it's a lot of Godzilla. Look at this. Some really cool stuff. And that stuff down in there. And then he has this. Big old Kong. These are big scale Godzilla. You can see them up there. Alright, so check these out. These are some big old Batman and Robin. Look at those statues right there. Those are cool. You got that cool Superman statue right there. We have these. There's everything. Really cool. And there is a Spawn Sketch Edition one that I don't have, but I'm not really in a rush for it, but if I could find a good deal on one, I would definitely pick one up. For sure. So these are these here are now hitting stores now. And I've also seen this one in stores. They are in there now. He has a lot of goodies. Wow, look at this doll right here. How much? So you can see this, and then our Dallas Cowboys, of course. More Dallas Cowboys. Very nice. Oh, uh, Lounge Fly. We finally got Lounge Fly. Very nice. This is series came out. Everybody, I had like six of them. This is the last one we have. All right, so there's a whole lot of Gundams right here. I want to put that in because I know I have a big Gundam audience. Let me see here. He has it just stacked, and then he has that. We decorated our house. Look at that. And there's also we decorated our house. And then he has them in the back. We got it like a six foot. Some Gundams? Yeah. Look at that. Wow. And then they have Furbies. You don't see Furbies every day, folks. Oh, 
Uh, so he has some of these. Here's the rare Hogan. Here's a long two pack. And he has all these. Oh, this one's autographed too, so. And then he also has that. I was looking if they had any more, but I already have that one already. These are all old school stuff. And he has some GI Joes. And then he also has these right here. With those. Really nice. Soup on over to here. Friday the 13th set. Look at that. Very cool. Okay. And he has more. Just so much going on here. So, yeah, these are like weapons. <laughs> so. And then these. Oh, these are just marvelous. I love them. Got a Chuckster, got a Chucky. Alright folks, so check this out. You really do not see this every day. Now think outside the box and then put a diorama. You could redo the Friday the third one of the Friday the thirteenth, I think it's like part five. Um, where Jason flips over in the thing and then he stands on the thing when it's on fire. Or you could just do a good diorama for like the Hills Have Eyes or something. Think about it. They have it all. I love the nostalgia of this. And then look at this. Look at this. Wow. And then for Pee Wee Herman. Rest in peace. There he is, right up there, right up top. He's waiting for you. Come and get him. They're going to be here tomorrow, too. <laughs> Alright, so you're also going to find like anime and Dragon Ball Z and everything here. They have a lot of it. It's here, folks. So I know I got a big audience for anime, so I'm going to do my best because there is so much of it. all that. Make sure you can check that out. There's some Pokemon stuff. And we also have all this. Going on through there. Alright, now these guys are loaded with enemy. Hit the bottom there. Okay, so you can see all the anime through there. This goes on in here. And there's just more of it. So a lot of anime going on. You can see I'm trying to get a little something for everybody. So, yeah, he tends to have a mixture of things. Some more anime. There are two, you could just hear him screaming from all over the place, huh? Just really hear him screaming. And then they have anime just all the way around. So Fig Pins and the Pins, this is them. He invited for me to go back over there to Anaheim to film their shop. I will be heading back, hopefully next week. Just talking to the gentleman outside here. And they do have some things. But they got the music blasting and it's loaded, so. But they have a lot of stuff here, folks, and they're here. Alright, folks, so even though they got the music going, I'm still gonna try and get this for you. Hope I can talk over it, but yeah, they got that pinhead right there, Living Dead, though. He looks real cool. 
along with the big old Annabelle. We have a few others over here. So you can see all this. Let me see if I can make my way over to this area over here. Because he has some really good things. So yeah, you can see it all through here. Look at this. Yeah, he has some really rare items, folks. Super um, rare stuff. You really got to look through here to... The glass is a little foggy. You got some prototype stuff there. You can see what it says. Yeah, yeah, old school things going on. So, and then right over here, he has something that's really, really cool and interesting. Princess of Power. Look at this. There's just a whole lot of it going on. The Princess of Power. He has a lot of it, folks. So. There she is. Right, so here we go. Yep. I'm good. Okay. Thank you. Guys. There's some good things going on. That's what I want. And then yeah. you get this. No, no. If you want to see right here. Shogun uh, Warriors. Show? They have another one in December. They got this right I might, here. I don't know. Um, it depends if so, I can get it right out or not. And then they have all that no, no, right there. It's so. December 2nd. Yeah, there it is. December yeah. 2nd. Okay, so they have this. Oh, these are super rare. I've never seen those. Oh, look at this. Okay. And right over here. We have this. And then these. Yes, Godzilla. They love Godzilla here. He told me to come in the back right here to film. To film. So yeah, and then they also have that. Okay, and then they also have this right here. Look at this. Thank so, you. Super nice. And there they are right there. That's who they are. You can see that, yeah, that's who they are right up there. So, marvelous monsters and more. Alright, so look at this alien stuff. And he has a little something of everything. But interesting because he has, I believe that's the Monster High Annabelle. Right there. And then along with the Chucky and Tiffany. Um, I'm not sure if that's also Monster High back there and a big old alien head. So he has a lot of good things and he has that Silent Hill back there and you can see more stuff right there. Alright, so tell me in the comments, do you remember any of this? And let me know because this booth is full nostalgia right here. Look at this. Let me know in the comments if you had any of this. This is some nostalgia. And I'm going to go up on the top. There's Transformers. You can see all this right here. Some little pads. And then you got this guy from Mad. He's really cool. And you got these signs. Look at this tray full of McDonald's toys. Did you have any of this, folks? Let me know in the comments if you did. Trying my best. He has old Hot Wheels. Old Hot Wheel track. The Bionic Woman. Old Transformers. Old Hot Wheels. And then I will go on through here. So look at this. Wow, this this guy brung it. Okay, still see this? Charlie's Angels. Okay, some Mad magazines. Obviously, they love Mad over here. A lot more stuff. They got Robin as Mad. And some old McDonald's racers. And we keep going. Let me get all this. 
What a beat. Wow. Very impressive. And then you got a Barbie Playhouse. And then this, right here. Let's go across here. Do you remember that? Did you own one of those when you were in school? I know I did. And he sell them and they're in very good condition. So, yeah, the nostalgia of it's the Wizard of Oz. And then the whole top. Alright folks, so we are here with Super 7. They have a booth here. They have been doing it. So you got some Twisted Sisters. Alright, look at this. Some good stuff going on. The music is just pumping over here, so I gotta probably go frame by frame, so show you some of their stuff. This Super 7, what they're bringing to the table, folks, so, yeah. And then they got a lot of stuff, you got that Bruce Lee and a few others over there. And so you got this, the old throwbacks, costume, Return of the Living Dead, you got this right here. Okay. Snoopy, I think All right, you folks, so you can see this. These are the new Power Rangers right here that they got. So you can check that out, the Power Rangers. What they got going on, so we'll see what's going on here. It's Super 7, folks. And then you got these. Yes. Really cool. And I'm also seeing a Freddy right back there, which is unique. And we've got that big old thing right here in this particular booth. Interesting. Look at this. Wow. All right, folks. We got some things. Got that Batman thing right there. Look at this. Oh, no. If you're looking for any of this, it's here. I'll just take it. So. <laughs> I will also be here the rest of the day today, Saturday. By the time this video loads, it will be for Sunday. So, and then we'll just walk right over here, check out some things, just walk around a little bit. You can see just a lot of stuff that they're bringing, people are bringing to the table, folks. There's just so much larger than life looking areas, lightsabers. Look at those right up there. Really super sweet. Look at this. Just a lot going on, folks, and these people are bringing it. So here we go. Some rare Spider Man stuff. Yes. Yeah, everything here and then look in the back right there. The turtles. All original turtles. Ooh, the Green Goblin looks really cool. Right there. Watch, he's gonna be calling tomorrow. See all this? He's gonna be dreaming about it. And they got plenty of Star Wars. So I already have all these, but some of them do have the weapons. You don't want that. Dude, what do want that thing? So, you also have that Ewok playset complete. It even has the net, which is really cool. Okay. The one he was looking at? Seven. <laughs> but for you, but for you, five feet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I told <laughs> So, get a tie interceptor. Really good condition too. Usually these are broken on the tips. Really good condition. He has some loose boxes. Well, he has some boxed items too. So, for Star Wars, yeah, he has a lot of stuff. So. You have to just come down here and check it out. There's an Imperial shuttle over there, right up top. I wonder if it works. I know mine does. Um, but, yeah, he brought a lot of stuff. And then we're going to go right up in here. You got some Power of the Force, old Power of the Force. Let's go right down there, right there. There you go, some Power of the Force. And then you get this. 
some Ewoks, so yeah. We got some really good stuff. So yeah, and then you got this vehicle. This vehicle is very expensive and very hard to find, folks. Check that out. Have you ever seen that? Okay, let me go here. Look at this. The little diorama. Real cool. What is diorama? Yeah, so a lot of dioramas going on. You see this? Look at that one. People are doing it now. So you can see all this. And then this. Oh, that is just bomb. That is badass. You can see that. The way that looks. You got the feeling. This. Wow. Just amazing. Completely amazing. And then you got a head bust. Of that. A lot of good work here, folks. 50 bucks. Take it home. <laughs> All right, folks. So he's saying 50 bucks. Take it home for the racetrack. Um, and it works. <laughs> and it works. <laughs> so, but it is here for you. So if you're here in the area for tomorrow, I believe you're going to be here Sunday, right? Yeah. Yeah. So by the time this video hits, uh, it could be waiting for you. Uh, so get your butt on down here and get it. These toys are just beautiful. It's just beautiful to see. Look at this. So, yeah, just some rare stuff. Yeah, this guy's throwing out deals. And then he has a lot of things. Alright, so here is Toy Fusion coming up. And he's right next to that vendor, the one with the racetrack. So, a lot of good stuff here. And look at that. Low in the dark. Uh, picture from the Black Lagoon. So, first time I've ever seen that in person. So, he has some goodies. The old uh, glass art. Let's see that. He also has stuff like this. So, if you're looking for anything, any of this, he has it. So, yeah, you can check that out. And then he also has something that's very interesting here. He has an original Chewbacca on card. So, they just didn't put on so, the uh, uh, Vader. decals, then, right? And you got some of this. That's some clothing. And then it has Hot Wheels. <laughs> Alright, so we are with Comic and Figure Addicts Juan, Comic and Figure Addicts. Yes, he's running it. So, I was just talking to him a little bit. Uh, yeah, I had to save uh, some film on my camera because we all know that these battery lives on these, some of these, can go very quickly. So I will show you a quick view of what he got and then I gotta go around and start hunting down some toys myself and enjoy the toy show. Not that I'm not enjoying it because I absolutely love doing this, but I wanna start looking through the nooks and crannies and see what I could find, whatever's left. Right here you got some NECA. Yeah, it's good to get caught up with some friends. I will always cover one as long as he's in business if he lets me. And Comic and Figure Addicts, they are very good people, folks. Alright, so you see all this. And so, alright, you can see all this. And you also have a lot of that going on, some wrestling. And let's move on over here. And he has some stuff in the glass case. It's some nice fairy tale fantasies right up there. You can see all that. 
and stuff like that. You can go all the way down. And so, and he always brings it. He always brings a really good food all the time. Their store is amazing too. So, and then he also has a lot of DC multiverse. today. Alright folks, so this will be the last one of the video and I thought that I was done but then this came up. Look at the chest piece on that. This is a super rare Spider-Man and could be yours. Uh, he will also be here tomorrow on Sunday. So I will try to upload this video as soon as I can. And here is his info right here his boot is really cool he's very nice very helpful he also has some of these and he also has a scare glow so a lot of you are looking for that he has it he has rare Hot Wheels and he also has GI Joe and he, the, he has a fridge everybody in there He's filled with comics. You can just look right behind him right there. Just filled with comic books. Yeah, we just got to talking and this, this Spider-Man is an eye catcher because of that. You just do not see it. And then he just pulled this out. Look at this. The uh, Bronze Bombers LZ. The Bronze Toys Bombers. Toys R Us exclusive. Toys R Us exclusive. The whole set it could be yours so if you're looking for this here's here's your guy right here and if you're from out of state give him a call uh, right away and that's actually our partner right there he's there the you artist go. <laughs> we didn't have our cards today thank you so much sir Absolutely. thank you all right so they pulled out some more stuff and they got red lines here look at this yeah this is happening. So if you're looking for any of this, this could be yours. They'll be here through tomorrow, through Sunday. Uh, or call the number and they also have this. It goes to it. So the carrying case. But he has a whole thing filled with red lines. These are red line Hot Wheels, the rarest of the rarest, folks. All right, folks, so you're wondering what my pickups were, but before we go into anything else, I just want to give a big thanks and shout out to a lot of people. So let me get, let me get in over here on this bag, and I'm going to give a big shout out to Angry Irishman who hooked us up with a really good deal. You can see all that. I showed it on the thing and also L and L collectibles uh, they were also very awesome and I want to give a big shout out to my good friend Juan over at Comic Configure Addicts their hospitality is always so nice they are so good to me and my family I can't say as to how much Juan and, collect, uh, and Comic Configure Addicts uh, the, everyone there at the event was very professional it was very well done. Uh, we had a blast there. Um, and I also want to say to all the people that came up to me that watch my channel, finally, people are starting to come up to me that watch my channel and thank me for what I do. Uh, no, thank you guys. All the way around, you guys are the best. Like I said, I am the ECW of toy collecting. I have the most hardcore and best uh, support and subscribers on the planet. Thank you guys so much for watching Mo's toy, toy Room and sticking through with us from the beginning all the way into our future. Alright, so you're wondering what my pickups were. I also saved another thanks for this next item. So here is my pickup. So we ended up picking up the Lounge Fly brand spanking new um, Trick or Treat sandbag. Check this out. Here's my other shout out, folks. For my other shout out is for Garcia Cards and Toys. 
So right there, there is their their little hash, their little uh, thing that you can scan right there. They gave us this bag for sixty bucks straight up. Uh, so definitely, guys, thank you so much. Uh, you guys are awesome for sure. So. Yeah, for sure. All right, so the other one was we did a lot of little mixed pickups. We picked this up. The lady wanted five. My wife ended up scoring this for three bucks. It is the Brady Bunch. So, yeah, we, we do things like that, right? So that's a little TV for the Brady Bunch. Okay. And then also, I believe from the same lady, I'm not sure, but my wife picked up these shirts, this shirt here. Two dollars and fifty cents. So, yeah, she got that cool looking shirt. Don't really know what it was, but it could be Wakanda Forever or something. I don't know. You guys let me know. Um, yeah, it's right up there. All right, she also picked up this cool looking brand spanking new Star Wars shirt. This is a Disney from Disney. You can see the whole end scene. She also picked this one up, brand new, $2.50 from the event. Also, she also picked up this one of, I believe this is Groot. Same thing, $2.50. Okay. Also, she picked up this one of the Green Goblin. Okay. $2.50. Uh, she also picked up this headphone set vintage as you can tell they had so much there and I also want to apologize to the people that I didn't get a chance to film your uh, your stand uh, I wasn't sure on the battery life uh, how much battery I had left on my new camera and plus I had to on my SD card that's in this camera only hold so much so I had to kind of like spaced it out a little bit so I wasn't able to get everything because there was over I believe 400 vendors there so guys it was packed uh, but we also picked up this $2.50 uh, my wife picked up this also because the holidays are coming around so she picked up this listen to this for a buck one dollar all right so we got some steals there now you're wondering what I scored so I ended up scoring this Freddy Krueger looking guy right here and the gentleman said hey he goes uh, I'll let it go for 20 so I did not pick this up so well I didn't have this so I knew it was rare it sticks to something so picked it up Freddy Krueger all the way around looks like he's holding a little something something uh, so I don't know what do you guys think it's pretty cool it looks like he has like a skull so it's cool all right, picked up Freddy for my Freddy collection. Also, for $15, I picked up the Michael Myers uh, Blacklight Edition. Um, they had this there. And it's an exclusive, folks. So, 15 bucks Couldn't go wrong with that. They were throwing deals out, folks. I, I couldn't stress it enough. This place had so many vendors, and they were loaded with some of the rarest items on the planet. Uh... And so, yeah, so, for instance, I got this signed, uh, Claiborne Moore by Claiborne Moore. This is an exclusive. You can see the stamp right there of the Signature Series, and it's also stamped there, of Vamprilla. This is the Vamprilla figure. Um, because me and the guys were sitting down at this booth, and we were so good, because what, what was going on was I was going to buy, after I filmed, I want to go in and film, and then I want the the privacy to be able to go around and shop I was going to buy that Bigfoot so he was looking he wanted like I think it was 325 for it 325 bucks and then he was gonna he was gonna bring it down he told he told the guy he goes look I'll bring it down for 275 and I'm like, wow, I am looking for that Bigfoot for my $6 million man collection. That is the missing piece. And it was complete, mint condition, right? So I told him when the guy had it in his hand, I said, look, I said, if uh, he doesn't buy it when I'm done filming, hold it for me and I'm going to be back around and get it. So I'm not going to just 
say, okay, well, well, then I'll give you 300 for it, which I would have. But, you know, just to outbid the guy and take it out of his hands, I'm not that kind of guy, okay? But I could have did that, and instead, um, I think I put the uh, FOMO, the fear of missing out, in that guy, so he ended up buying it. Um, and, hey, congratulations to him, but if he didn't buy it, I was going to buy it. So instead, they gave me a good deal, and they let this go for 40 So pick this one up for 40 uh, so it's always a win-win. And then also I picked up the Bela Lugosi Dracula. Another one last time I was there. I picked one up similar to this one that had a whole casket with it. This one has a smaller uh, little like thing right there. It might be a stand. But yeah, pick this beauty up. 25 bucks. Okay, now here is I think these next two are probably um, my score of the day. So for vintage scoring, you guys know that I'm into the Ninja Turtles. I did the 1989, so I got all those. And then I also picked up the uh, Party Mobile Complete. So I'm getting stuff little by little, so I picked up the carrying case. And this carrying case is mint. And look at this. All the inserts are in there. So it brings the two trays that are in there. They're in there. Okay. So I picked up that one. And then I also picked up the variant cover. Which um, also is complete. Mint condition from the same vendor. He had them both. And listen to this folks got these two for twenty dollars each yeah you heard that twenty dollars each i feel it was a steal uh made my day so yeah anyway all my purchases were good so i'm happy with what i got i really wish that i could have went home with that um that bigfoot that andre the giant bigfoot from six million dollar man maybe another time but the thing is is that guy got there probably maybe two minutes before I did okay so I was off by scoring it by two minutes but the thing is is I woke up late today uh, had a long night last night woke up late today and I wasn't able to make the early bird so I went to the 11 o'clock opener instead of the 9 o'clock opener for early bird I went to the 11 o'clock okay I may have saved a little bit of money but I lost the deal that I've been looking for and that was at Bigfoot um, but hey, my bad, um, but hopefully I went to a good home, um, but yeah, it's going to be itching at me a little bit, <laughs> you know, I should have got my ass up and, you know, got down there, because I would be owning the Bigfoot today, but I may not have scored these other deals, so I might have missed out on those. Alright folks, so from most harm to yours, like, comment, subscribe, and from most harm to yours everyone, good night.